What's up, YouTube? This is Darian, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy on the channel where we talk about fragrances and we talk about fashion. So if you love looking good and smelling great, you'll probably find some value in this content. So consider subscribing to the channel and also make sure you bam, hit that bell icon as well. That way you get notified anytime I upload new content on the channel. So guys, on today's video, I'm going to be covering the brand new fragrance release from the house of Paco Rabanne, which is One Million Elixir. I dropped a video here recently about uh, the new uh, designer fragrance releases from the year of 2022, and I asked you guys what fragrances you wanted me to cover off on first, and this was one of the fragrances that was mentioned the most, so we're going to go ahead and talk about that particular fragrance. Now, before I do that, guys, really quick style tip of the day. Um, of course, the weather is transitioning. It is springtime. We will, of course, in a few months be moving into the summer. So when wearing suits, some people have an issue with wearing suits in the summertime, but when wearing suits in the spring and summertime, when the weather is warmer outside, you want to switch over to lighter uh, wool fabrics. Um, maybe, of course, like the suit I'm wearing today, this particular suit is from Suit Supply. Uh, which this is a very light wool fabric. So you have things like this, you have like linen, uh, you have fresco and other, uh, like I said, lighter wool fabrics that you can wear in the summertime. So um, some people that take issue with wearing suits in the summertime, it's cool to do that as long as you go with a lighter wool fabric. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, another one of these things that I'm gonna go into more detail uh, with on the upcoming months here on the channel, just talking about and going into detail about these type of fabrics that you can wear in the summertime so you can still look cool, but of course feel cool at the same time. Okay guys, now that we've gotten the style tip out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and jump into this video. Again, I'm gonna be talking about the newest fragrance release from the house of Paco Rabanne, One Million Elixir. So if you wanna hear my thoughts on that fragrance, you know the routine, man. Keep it locked right here. Let's get it. Yeah. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump into this review of the newest release from the house of Paco Rabanne, One Million Elixir. First, let's take a look at the presentation. So this fragrance actually has a sleeve on it. Let me show you the box. All right, so there is a sleeve on this. So you just slip the sleeve off. And of course, now you get the very familiar One Million box. Pretty much all the fragrances from this particular line or lineage of fragrances pretty much look the same. Uh, of course, it says One Million Elixir on the front, all gold box. And the bottle was very reminiscent of the other flankers from this line, with the exception, of course, of Lucky and uh, Privé, which have a different hue. But the other fragrances from this particular line are pretty much the same. So it says, uh, it has a nice one there in the middle with one million elixir. So again, pretty much presentation is nothing different from the other fragrances that you've seen pretty much from the one million line of fragrances. All right guys, so let's get into a little bit more about uh, what this fragrance actually smells like. I'm gonna spray it here on my test strip. Sprayer is decent. And, um, yeah, man, I, I, I like this one because it's, it's just the kind of scent profile that I like. What I don't like about it, and you guys have heard me say this over and over now, is the fact that, just that the fact that it's another flanker. But outside of that, fragrance, scent DNA alone, I like it. There are hints of the original one million kind of embedded in here, which I like, because unlike a lot of people that kind of give that fragrance crap, uh, the original one million, I actually like the fragrance itself. So pretty much, now that I think about it, every flanker from the One Million line, I like it. I, I'm a fan of those fragrances. I just like the scent DNA. Of course, it's a sweet fragrance, and when you first spray it, you get that apple note. So the apple jumps out at you, but you also get this, this sweetness, and I think that is coming from uh, vanilla. So you get this very 
uh, kind of sweet, almost a candy apple uh, kind of uh, scent from this when you first spray it. Now, as the fragrance starts to dry down, because I have worn this several times, you are going to start to get this almost dried fruit kind of a cord. Uh, and that is really coming from the uh, Divana. There's a Divana note in this fragrance, so it, it blends well with the apple. So you already have that apple opening, and then you kind of get this dry fruit kind of vibe that's coming through. After about five to 10 minutes into the wearing of the scent, and that is coming from the note of Divana. Now there's also a slight hint of floral here uh, that's coming from the Osmanthus. Osmanthus is a is a, no, a floral note that kind of comes off like an animalic jasmine note, or sometimes in fragrances it kind of has this this fruity aspect to it as well. That that's what it feels like to me in this particular scent because it's working really well with that apple and the Divana that you get in the opening of this scent. So the Osmanthus in here is actually giving a almost floral, slightly fruity uh, nature to this scent. So you get a slight hint of floral that's in the background of this, but this is more about that the fruitiness of this fragrance with the apple, the Divana, which is again, a kind of a dry fruit and that sweetness that's coming in on the base from vanilla. Yeah, but this thing smells absolutely phenomenal, man. I like the fact that you can kind of trace the DNA of the original uh, 1 million in this one as well. And, um, but by that same token, uh, that amped up, what I feel like I amped up vanilla in this is giving this fragrance uh, its own character. So I could see, uh, it would make sense to me, I can see this being an elixir version of the original 1 million because you can detect the original there, but that sweetness from the vanilla, that creaminess that you get from this, from that, and I think probably the Osmanthus as well, is giving it its own character, making you think of the one, original 1 million as kind of an elixir, uh, this one an elixir variation of the original. So I do like the way this one smells 100%. This is my kind of fragrance right here. Now they also list uh, that this has notes of a note of damask rose. I don't get a lot of rose. Uh, there's a little bit of uh, a slight hint of rose in this, uh, of course akin to uh, I think the original had a little bit of rose in it, so I think uh, you kind of pick up a little bit of that as you kind of transition through the heart of this fragrance. But like I said, man, for the most part, uh, this fragrance is really about uh, that opening with that apple, this kind of fruitiness that you're getting from the apple, the Divana, uh, the Osmanthus, and the sweetness on the dry down. It has vanilla, you also have tonka bean. They list patchouli, I don't get a lot of patchouli from this, but I, get, I do get a lot of the tonka bean and the vanilla because it's a really, really sweet fragrance. Uh, but I, like I said, man, at the end of the day, I like sweet scents, and this one is going to work for me. Now, as far as the seasons and occasions, this is definitely a fall, winter kind of fragrance. Again, I know we have people out there that say, wear what you want, when you want, but, you know, I do think there is some, you know, some decorum of some kind, uh, uh, if you will, when it comes to wearing fragrances. Yeah, can, can I? put five sprays of this on in the summertime, I can, but I just, uh, it's gonna feel cloying to me. Sweet fragrances feel very cloying to me in the, in the heat, and that's why people recommend sweeter fragrance profiles in the colder months, or the cooler months, because the cooler weather kind of neutralizes that sweetness, if that makes sense, while heat kind of amplifies it and just makes it, you know, kind of, you know, in your face. So that's why those recommendations are made. So I think this is very good for fall and winter. It is going to work for that time frame. As far as performance is concerned, I got seven, seven and a half hours of longevity. After the eight hour mark, I could still smell it, but I had to get, you know, all the way into my hand. So I kind of don't really count longevity when I have to, you know, put my nose all the way to my hand to pick it up. Although it was still there, but as far as being about right here at least and still being able to pick it up at about that seven, seven and a half hour mark. So it does perform well. I'm not surprised by that. And um, this fragrance does come in three sizes, uh, if I'm not mistaken. This fragrance actually comes in a 1.7 ounce bottle. It comes in a 3.4 ounce and a 6.7 ounce, which is standard. Uh, all the 1 million uh, fragrances that have been released so far, if I'm not mistaken, have those same uh, sizes, the 1.7 and 3.4. 
as well as the 6.7 ounce. If you want to purchase this fragrance, the 1.7 ounce is going to uh, cost you $87, the 3.4 ounce for 112, which is just the 3.4. And I think the 6.7 ounce is $142 if I'm not mistaken. Quite naturally, I will link them down below if it's something that you want to check out. But for me personally, this is a winner. I really enjoy this one. I think this is going to be great, like I said, for the fall and winter, especially like a date night kind of scenario. This is going to be um, a fragrance that I think is going to work well in a close encounter date night kind of situation because it's sweet and it's sexy at the end of the day. So, all right, guys, that's it. That's my time, man. I hope you enjoyed my a uh, little bit more in-depth review on the newest flanker from the Paco Rabanne, Paco Rabanne 1 million line, 1 million elixir. As always, I sincerely appreciate your time and your attention to these videos. You don't have to watch, but you do, man, and I sincerely appreciate that. And don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you share these videos out to some other folks that you think could use this information or find it entertaining. Cause I'm your guy, Darren, I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side.